This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in Him, and be glad in Him. For this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. To God be the glory, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Him. I'm Apostle Prophet Ashrita Berry. We are transforming the nation with the Word of God, taking the Word of God to every nation far and wide, taking the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ, to the four corners of this realm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad to be here on this morning. Glory to God. I pray that everyone is having an awesome, awesome morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you or someone you know has a prayer request, we do have a 24-hour voicemail system. You can call and leave your name and your prayer request. If you desire for someone to call you back to pray with you one-on-one, -on -one, you can call and leave your telephone number and someone will return your call and pray with you. And that number is 641-715-3900. 641-715-3900. Extension 88-4230-POUND. Once again, extension 88-4230-POUND. And it's at the bottom of the screen. Or you can email your prayer request at Sharita Bray Ministries at Outlook.com. Sharita Bray Ministries at Outlook.com. And someone will respond back to you, your prayer request. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We just give God all praise, all glory, and all honor. Just want to share with you on this morning. On yesterday, I was waiting for a response from someone that's going to be on a podcast with me on today. And I heard the Holy Spirit talk to me about Jesus Christ and how when Jesus went from town to town, from city to city, that he did not announce himself. He did not have to say, hi, I am Jesus. I am the Messiah. I'm the prophet. I am the one that Isaiah spoke of. I am the one that I am that I am. He didn't have to say any of those things. And, and then I just sit there and I begin to listen to the Holy Spirit. And then God began to say, because they knew him by his, by, the, by the fruit. And then God said, they knew him by his works. They knew him by his works. See, Jesus performed signs and miracles and wonders everywhere he went. He healed people. He raised people from the dead. People began to touch on him and he, they became whole. They became new. Even with the woman with the issue of blood, when she touched him in his garment. And she was straightway made whole. And Jesus turned around and said, her faith made her whole. And they knew him because the word spread about him. So when he came to town with the disciples, they already knew who Jesus was by his what? His fruit. They knew who Jesus was by his what? His works. Signs, miracles, and wonders followed them everywhere he went. From town to town, from city to city, from place to place. So no, he did not have to announce himself and say, I am the king of kings. I am the Lord of lords. He did not have to say any of that stuff. I'm going to read a scripture to you on this morning. And it comes from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses 15 to 20. Glory to God. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses 15 to 20. And I'm going to read it from the Amplified Bible. And it says, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or of thorns or twigs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth good fruit is heaven shut down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, that by their fruits ye shall know them. It says that in a 
Matthew 7, chapter verse 7, 15 to 20. Beware of false prophets. Beware of those that come into the synagogues and into the city and into the temple to announce themselves and say, I have come. I have come. Jesus Christ sent me. But some of them are false prophets. They are ravening wolves. We should know them by their fruits. fruits. What? By their works. Do signs, miracles, and wonders follow those that are, that are false prophets? Many of them operate under the unction of a false spirit. The woman of God said the other day when we was on a discussion panel, she said everybody teaching different doctrine, same spirit. And after everyone began to discuss everything, I came back and I said, let's go back to what you said. I said, everybody is teaching different doctrines and, different, and they have different spirits. So that everybody is not teaching the same thing because everybody don't have the same spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Everybody is teaching sound, different types of sound doctrines, but what type of spirit do they have with that sound doctrine? But the word said we shall know them by their fruits. And it, and it says in, a, in 15, beware of false prophets, for they are nothing more than ravenous wolves. Everybody, there are a lot of people that are teaching the same doctrine, but have a different spirit. And God began to minister to me on that. He said, Jesus didn't have to announce himself because they knew him by his fruits. They knew him by his works because word got to, word spread from, from all regions about Jesus. This man that spit on the, that took some clay, spit on it and put it on the man. The man didn't have no eyes and he spit on it, took the dirt, spit it, put it on the man's eyes. He had a set of new eyes. Word got around from time to town of the mighty works that he did, the wondrous things that, the miracles that he did. So he didn't have to announce himself because the people knew him by his fruits. They knew him by his works. Glory to God. The word says, beware of those that are false prophets. I'm paraphrasing. For they're nothing but ravenous wolves. We shall know them by their fruits. By what? by their works in this hour. I want to encourage you all that is reading this video to listen to the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. When the spirit of discernment unctions you to beware, it's, it's telling you that for a reason. When the doctrine don't sound like it should sound, it, 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 it's, it doesn't. I told the woman of God yesterday, Everybody teaching different doctrines, and everybody have different spirits. We have to examine ourselves in this hour. Do you have a relationship with God, or do you just have religion? Religion is a form of godliness in denying the power of thereof. Matthew, the seventh chapter, verses 15 to 20. Go read it. Glory to God. And remember... G they knew the, the people knew Jesus Christ by the, his fruits, by his works. The people knew the disciples, not only that because they knew him because they traveled with Jesus, but after Jesus descended, people still became aware of who the disciples were from different places, places that they did not travel. People knew of them. Why? Because they were got to them who they were. So when they came into the town, they didn't have to announce themselves. Why? Because people knew them by their fruit. They knew them by their works. Because signs, miracles, and wonders also follow the apostles. I am Apostle Prophet Ashrita Berry. Thank you for tuning in on today. If you or someone you know has a prayer request, I do have a 24-hour voice messaging system. You can call, leave your name, prayer request, or if you desire one-on-one -on -one prayer, leave your telephone number and someone will return your call to pray with you. And the number is 641-715-3900. 641-715-3900. Extension 88423 Opal. Once again, extension 88423 Opal. 
or if you have access to a computer, you can email Sharita Bray Ministries at Outlook.com. Sharita Bray Ministries at Outlook.com. May the peace and blessings of the Lord be with you. And remember, I'm so excited for your future. I love you and God loves you also. Be blessed.